it had to be possible, and it totally is. I went to the rocket mass heater jamboree and with help built two rocket mass heaters in my own house. And, um, and I just kept imagining, you know, how can we do a low smoke, low wood kiln since then? It's very expensive to hook up a kiln. There are more people that would be involved with ceramics if it was easier and cheaper. And just the firing technology, for even for electricity, you're firing, it's like between, you know, 20, 30 bucks, 30, 40, 50, whatever, to buy all that power from the grid. Wood kilns, I feel scandalized when I walk by them and they're firing, like I usually don't do wood firing, but um, I love low fire wood. I love the idea of it, but it's so smoky. Like the really basic wood kilns, they have a lid that's oftentimes just shards. That's true in, in Eastern Europe and in Mexico. They're topped with shards and they, they're wood firing. So all these, all this smoke is going around you all the time. Mm -hmm and it's really bad for people's lungs. I'm very excited about the rocket fire kiln. So the fact that we achieved high fire temperatures with just a, a little bit of wood and zero smoke is totally revolutionary. We even had some people who were kind of, you know, J-tube experts going, I don't know if you can get that to work. That's, you know, and Paul was kind of like, we're trying it. And the first proof of concept was quite interesting and quite spectacular. We've already, in the first firing, done things that are almost impossible in a wood-fired kiln. We've done it with basically no smoke, whereas normally there, you know, smoke is a big problem. We've done it with a fraction of the wood that they would normally use. I would love potters to embrace this and do all kinds of experiments with it. And I would love for the permies to have more freedom to take the clay resources around them and make things that they want. Ouch, 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 ouch.